All right, everybody. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be profiling our PC to see what it can handle. Okay, so we're going to be going through the settings and I'm going to be showing you guys how I get the best settings for me. And we're going to look at kind of everything to see, hey, what does it work? How does it work? Things like that. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm just going to quickly land at this location. And as always, guys, definitely hit up that sub. And as well, you can support me as well by using my creator code, Aaron FHD. Thanks, guys, and thanks for the support. So that we're able to actually truly see. So right now, I'm not actually getting the best performance. I'm getting between 70 and 140 frames. I really want to be around 160. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have two programs that we are going to be using. One is called GPU-Z. There we go. And of course, our task manager. Okay, so these are the two things that we are going to be using to profile. Now, my frame rate I'm recording right now will be a little lower. But what we want to do is we want to look at the CPU and we want to look at the GPU to see how much we're actually using and the load we're using. So right now I'm using 97% of my GPU, um, which is showing you that's really good. And I'm only using 44% of my CPU, which is also really good. The thing is, is obviously I want to hit about 140, 144 frames. So we got to start profiling to see what's going to happen. So if our CPU usage gets too high, so right now I'm at a total of 73, and that's because of all the processes that I'm running right now. Like right now, I even have Google Chrome. I'm going to close Google Chrome just so that that will drop a bit. I've got NVIDIA Broadcast, which helps me with my streaming, with my audio, things like that. So all of these things add up. And if this starts hitting... 80, 90, 100%, then what's going to happen is, is it's going to bottleneck my, it's going to bottleneck my computer. So what we want to do is we want to find the right balance for your computer. All these settings that you see, oh, do this, do that, do this in terms of, you know, what is the best. We're going to go through some settings right now and we're going to see, we're going to take a look at our, our CPU, our GPU. And once again, my GPU load right here, you can see it is at 97%. So I'm fully utilizing my GPU, which is good. But once again, because I'm fully utilizing it, it's dropping my frames. As you can see up here in the corner, you know, it's dropping right now. So we're going to go into the settings right now. We're going to go into the settings. I'm going to have to move to zone for a second. And we're going to start playing with some of these settings to see here what I can do to, uh, you know, get everything. And what you can do is you can actually start off like low and then work high. But I'm going to kind of work backwards. So I'm going to put my effects and post processing to high. We're going to hit apply. We're going to go back. And now we're going to take a look at my frames. As you can see, just by doing that, my frame rate went up. So right now I'm, yeah, I mean, at 130, 160, it did go up. So let's take a look at the CPU. CPU is still reasonable. And now let's take a look at the GPU. My GPU dropped by 1%. Okay, so we're at 96%. All right, let's go ahead now and drop it some more. Oh, that's not there. There we go, settings. And we're gonna go ahead and drop now my effects and pros processing down a bit. And then now I'm at a constant kind of like 125. So really, I didn't see much of a change. Like really, I did not see much of a change. We're going to bring up my task manager again. We're going to bring up my GPU Z, oh, which I think I closed. Did I close over and take a look at my utilization? So you can see here that the post-processing and the effect, we're, we're not really losing much and we're not gaining very much from it. Okay, let me go ahead and go to zone. Did not gain that much from those settings. So these settings are not affecting very much on my machine. If I go to apply, go low. Let's see here. Let me go to my, the GPU Z here. And you can see the GPU Z 96%. So the post processing is not what's dropping my frames. Like I am getting a bit more frames I can see. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting a little bit more, but nothing I would say that, I mean, we have to also to look, do we notice a difference between all that stuff? 
So the first thing I notice is the shards off the trees. That's really like it's less, right? So if I turn that back up and we go to, I, I'm pretty sure that's effects. So if I turn effects all the way back up to epic, let's see if I, how my frames are. I'm getting a little bit more. Things are, yeah, I mean, but literally this is what, that's what's making the shards. See all the shards there, right? And let's take a look again. I'm going to lower the effects. Let's go all the way back here. Effects. Let's go low. I'm going to hit apply again. Go back. Everything's popping in again. There we go. So it's doing a little bit of stuff differently. I I mean, like, I know the things I notice are literally the shards and everything. And that's me having on low. But in terms of frame rate, let's look. Okay, so my frame rate right now is between 140 to 160 when I move around. So I'm going between 140 to 160. So the question is, is what is causing my frames to drop, right? And that's what we got to look at to see. Because obviously you look at GPU-Z, my GPU load is 97%. And it's staying at 97%, right? Right. But the good thing is, is that my CPU is not going over 50%. So I like that. That's really good. So that means I'm not really bottlenecking anything, right? And that's kind of where things start happening is when you start raising certain settings, it's going to go higher. I'm not running the super resolution. So if I go back to my super resolution, but I turn this to native, which is my native. Let's see what happens now. Looks crisp. How's my frame rate? But there's my frame rate right there between 80 and 100. So what TSR does, it's called temporal super resolution. Okay. And really what's happening is, is when you look at it, it's once again, you've got to find a balance between these two. Um, TSR Epic is obviously going to use more of your GPU, but what I'm going to do is go to performance. And you can see here where it says the 3D screen resolution. And as you move it through it, right? you can see your screen resolution drop. So what that means is, is that it's gonna only render 66% of my screen resolution and then upscale it. So at 60%, if I go here and I hit apply and I go here. So let's take a look at my frame rate. You can see there I'm getting between 100 and 150. And then if I go back and I set the TSR lower and it's really until you feel the quality. So balanced is you know balance between quality and performance obviously you go back and i'm getting between one you know i mean i'm looking at this that's not bad and then of course you've got the tsr performance which you go down and then there you go but really what everybody needs to do is they need to profile their own machine and what we're going to do as well we're going to look at texture so right now um if i start i'm going to go Let's just do epic for everything and hit apply. This is where things get a little crazy. Obviously, the shadows, everything. And you can see my frame rate is dipping there. 98 GPU load. And then let me look at my CPU. What's crazy is my CPU actually dropped on that, which is nuts. So now, really, what this is showing to me, and this is really where this is very important you look at both of these and you're like well this is lower which is good but look how low this is it means that my gpu cannot it's literally my gpu is now the bottleneck not my cpu my gpu is which means my gpu can't handle this so the only way for me to fix this is either by lowering the settings or i get a new gpu which is obviously not in the cards but definitely though you look at this number which is crazy it means it means that upping the resolution of certain things are actually having a less impact on my CPU, which is which is pretty cool. So really, and look how beautiful this looks, but once again, my frames are dropping because my GPU just can't handle this at all. I'm gonna go ahead here. And of course, the biggest thing is the virtual shadows. That's kind of really where your frame rate takes a hit. I just turned the shadows off. And now let's take a look. When I did that at my CPU, CPU stays the same. Let me take a look at my GPU. 
GPU stays the same. Once again, all very low. So the shadows are actually not having that big of an impact. Let's see what is having an impact. So I'm going to turn my shadows back on. We're going to go high, global illuminations, and lumen. I think it's, I, I honestly think it's the reflections. We're going to try that, see how that works. Reflections barely have an effect. So let's see what is actually causing this. So I'm going to go back to turn my reflections high. And I think it's this global illumination. We're going to turn this down to ambient occlusion. And let's see how my frame rate goes. My frame rate did jump up there. So global illumination essentially is, I mean, to, exp to explain it in layman's, I'm going to go in here and we're going to look at it on the inside quickly. And just take a quick screen right here. And we're going to go into it and turn on global illumination right now. It's on ambient occlusion. We're going to put on lumen high and then hit back. So look at that. Look at the difference there. You're getting bounce lighting from the lights above. Okay. I opened this door. I'm going to close this door now. Let me close this door. Okay. This is pretty crazy. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to build right here. So you're essentially, you're getting like real lighting going on. See, look how dark, when, like how it gets in there dark when I go in though, and it goes light when I move in. See that? See how like it just slowly, let me get off here. So here it is. And my eyes adapting to the light. See the global illumination that's happening to the bounce lighting, all that stuff, which is really nice. All that stuff can happen. You have the light up here. There you go. I, I hit the light and look how it turns off there, right? You can just see how everything is. Let me move into the zone here. And that is global illumination. That's really, you're getting more lighting. So if I turn that off and I go back to screen space or ambient occlusion, and I hit apply. There we go. Go back here. Now you're not going to get that bounce lighting effect. Okay. You're not going to get that true bounce lighting effect. So now it's really just finding kind of where I'm happy with in terms of visual quality and effects quality. Obviously the more I lower, the more my CPU is going to go up. As you can see here, what's crazy is my CPU is going up because it has to compute now ambient occlusion, all these different things where before it didn't have to It actually pass that onto the GPU and the GPU ray tracing cores. So now let me go back here, turn this. Let's go, I believe, reflections. I think we had it on screen space reflections. And then we went there. And then let's see how my GPU is doing. And now we're like 80, 80 frames. What else? Let's see here. And then, of course, we have view distance. We have, we have pretty much everything on Epic, which is crazy. And then high resolution, post-processing on and off. So the biggest thing here now, if I want my frames to really, really go up, is obviously the shadows. Shadows take a huge, huge performance. So you have the virtual shadow. So let's say medium. Let's go to medium and see what happens. So we're getting a little bit there, a little bit more performance, little tiny bit performance. And then, of course, let's turn shadows off. Medium, let's turn those off. Apply. And now we don't have shadows. And then I jump up an extra almost to where I was before. So really, it's a matter of trying to figure out where, you know, you want your performance to be using those things. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, use these settings for best performance. But that may not be the best for your PC. All right. Thank you, everybody, guys, for watching. Have a good one, and peace out.